Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to take you through my top five picks for March of 2023. Um, these aren't just random crappy products either that I've kind of bunched together for the sake of doing a YouTube video. Um, I do put a lot of time and thought into this and they are genuine products that I feel have a lot of potential, not just for March 2023, but for the up and coming months. So the way these videos work is I'll start off by showing you each product on AliExpress um, and just explaining essentially what the product is, the different benefits and features of it. Um, I'll also show you some actual evidence behind why I think it's such a good product and why it has so much potential. So this will be sales numbers or Google Trends information, that sort of thing. Um, and then I'll also talk you through what my strategy would be for each of these products. So if I was gonna commit myself and choose one of these products and build a business and try and make it a success, then this would be the strategy that I used. So that being said, we won't waste any more time. We'll jump straight into the first product. Um, so here we are on AliExpress and let's play this video and just take a look at exactly what this product is. You may have have seen products like this before there's a big well-known brand out there called Ridge Wallet they're absolutely crushing it they're making a ton of money um, I've got a video coming on Friday where I'm going to break down their entire business and talk about the products and that sort of thing because in my mind it's just ultimately what every person that is getting started with drop shipping should be striving and aiming towards obviously you can't go straight to those bigger lengths but you start off small you build you reinvest into your business and then turn yourself into a quote-unquote real brand per se. So whilst I was just waffling on about a random company, um, hopefully you were watching the video and you saw that it's a metal debit card, credit card holder, and you can like pop your credit cards out. There's a little kind of strap that holds your cash. Basically, it's like a modern day or modern world alternative to the old school leather or wallet, whatever you call, whatever your wallet's made out of. There's quite a few reasons then why I think this product has so much potential. Um, number one, if we look at the order numbers um, on AliExpress, so the total sales um, closing in on nearly a million dollars, over 50,000 orders, and we can see there's been a massive upward spike um, in orders for this product, so a massive increase in popularity. In today's world, fashion and looking good and having luxury, expensive and cool looking items has been more popular than ever. Um, I think the world is gonna continue to go that way. So this kind of modern day replacement for the old school wallet, I think, um, is only gonna grow in popularity. There's only gonna be more and more people looking for a product like this. Also, with the way that the world is going, so if we have a look at um, the search term of metal wallet here on Google Trends, this is worldwide 2004 to present. You can see kind of there's been a slow and steady increase in popularity and there's always a massive spike as you come into q4 too so if you're getting into involved in dropshipping for the right reasons and you're looking to build um, a proper business and take advantage of those q4 months now would be a great time to do that because it gives you plenty of time to establish your brand test the right products make sure they're good quality to really then put yourself in a great position for q4 to take advantage of it so going back to what i said about the way the world is going less and less people are carrying cash you don't need your typical wallet that holds notes and coins a product like this just holds all of the kind of necessary cards that you're going to be using on a day-to-day -day basis it's smaller it's slimmer it's cooler um, and like i said i think only demand for products like this is just going to increase in popularity to give you kind of like a quick insight into what the video is going to look like on friday this is the company i was talking about this is the uk version and just to kind of quickly show you if we have a look um, at similar web we can see that they're kind of like in and around there's been a bit of a drop in jan but november and december time consistently achieving over 500,000 visits every single month i've checked out the us version of these guys and it's consistently over 2 million visits per month so a massive massive company and here it is is obviously it's developed a much more refined and expensive and high quality products than the one i showed you on aliexpress but it just goes to show nonetheless that the demand is there for a product like this in terms of my strategy then facebook ads interests tags in obviously males is going to be your biggest um, audience for this and then target people who are interested in fashion luxury items money stylish i wouldn't be going after the lower end of the market for this I'd be trying to pitch myself somewhere kind of halfway between what Ridge Wallet are doing. Not everybody has 120 quid to drop on a wallet. So if you can get something that looks similar and does a very similar job, but charge say 30, 40, 50 pounds, then I think there's a gap in the market for somebody to be doing that. Moving on to product number two, which is a pretty cool product, um, has a bit of a wow factor um, and it's quite visually pleasing as well, which is always super important for social media platforms. I also think that your perfect target person for this is going to be a female over the age of 50. These, at least from my experience, have always been the best um, and most consistent buyers um, on Facebook. So we'll play through the video. Um, I haven't actually watched this, but you can probably guess what it is. You can order 
whatever letter you want. Um, and it's like a wooden cutout with a um, perspex screen and you can put your money in there. It's basically a piggy, <laughs> a piggy bank um, in the shape of a letter. Price-wise price wise as well, I thought it's quite reasonable because it has that kind of handcrafted look. Um, it looks like quite an expensive product, so I imagine it's not the easiest thing to make. So £10.57, um, even if this offer ends, however, AliExpress has always offers going, maximum you're going to be paying 20 quid. That comes with free, guaranteed, on-time, 15-day delivery. Um, you could easily sell this for 40 quid, I reckon, which would leave a pretty decent healthy profit margin of in and around £30. If we have a look at the market as a whole for the past five years in the UK, search term of Moneybox, you can see like there's a pretty consistent demand for money boxes throughout the year actually. However, as we kind of come into summer, demand starts to increase slowly but surely leading up to those Q4 months. Um, moving on to the actual strategy side of things, well, in fact, going back to that, what I'm trying to say, I kind of skipped over that, is that with a product like this, I don't think it's going to be a pump and dump. I don't think it's going to be something that you try and milk for six months and pummel a ton of money in to try and see some return. I think you could build a genuine kind of nice brand and sell a lot of these kind of like um, wooden effect type products that are aimed towards grandparents that they're going to be buying for their children. As for strategy then, I've already mentioned parents with children up to 10 years old. You can target that as an interest, but... Ultimately, it's going to be the grandparents, um, from my experience, that are going to be buying it. So that's going to be the third um, recommendation. And then I'll target people that have an interest in money saving as well. In terms of like an ad creative, the first thing that comes to me is having an elderly person, um, somebody of grandparents age, talking on camera about how they've bought it for their grandchild when they're first born. And it's a means of saving up and saving some money for them. I think that's definitely the sweet spot for a product like this. And because it has that wow factor, as well as that kind of personalization and specific specificity, if that's even a word, um, to the actual person without obviously being their name, um, I think you're gonna be onto a winner. The other advantage as well to a product like this, you could play it off as something that is made to order. So that'd be a good excuse. If anybody's chasing that order, you can say that it's made to order and that could be your excuse basically um, for that one to two week delivery time. Moving on to product number three, a similar type-ish product, but for a completely different market. Um, again, it's like a wooden effect. It's a shelf based basically um, that comes in many different shapes so I think again it's quite a visually pleasing product so I think it's definitely going to capture people's attention because it's not like you can walk into B&Q or um, Dunelm or some form of like department store um, and see this and find and see this exact product I think advertising a product like this and nobody has seen before they're definitely at least from my experience they've definitely been the best products because such, social media is such a busy place, dropshipping is so competitive nowadays, the chances of actually being the first, the chances of running a Facebook ad and putting a product in front of someone and that being the first time they've ever seen that product is going to be quite slim. Whereas with a product like this, which is relatively new, I've never seen anybody advertising this before, you will be the first person to put that product in front of somebody else and therefore you're much more likely to capture um, the purchase. So about £15 all in, um, including shipping. Again, it comes with that on-time guarantee. You've heard me say it in previous videos before. Don't always go to AliExpress or rely on AliExpress. It's great for product research, but in my opinion, try and find um, an agent um, with a reputable um, reputation. So it comes in lots of different sh shapes and sizes. You can get just the moon, you can get the moon and cat. So you can kind of combine interests there and that'd be a new marketing angle. Um, it comes in a love heart form as well. Um, has this kind of cool beachy type effect as well. Um, there's one in the shape of a wolf. I think you could easily create a one product store around just this product and the different variants. If we take a look at some numbers as well, um, taken from Sell the Trend, brilliant product research tool for finding those kind of weird and wonderful products. Then we can see there's been a constant increase in demand for this product, um, a constant increase in order numbers from week to week, which is always a great sign. If we take a look at some product insights from Sell the Trend, these can be hit and miss to be honest. However, some of them are pretty bang on. So low competition, products are not oversaturated in the market. That basically means there's not that many people selling the product. There's good profit margins. So it takes an average of the stores that it's tracking. So it's tracking four different stores and the average selling price is $55. The product cost is $8 we saw plus shipping it's about $15 which leaves a very decent profit margin of $40. You can definitely uh, make that work with direct marketing on Facebook. It's in a popular niche. These guys recommend like the home decor niche which probably could work. However, if it was me, um, then I would definitely be going down this kind of healing crystals route. If you watch my videos regularly, um, a few weeks ago, I did a review of this Shopify store that had made 
it was just over a million dollars, I think, selling this. Um, in fact, I think it was on AliExpress. So it's this product here in the top right-hand corner that I'm highlighting now that made over a million dollars selling this product because those kind of healing crystals and spiritualism and meditation type niches are absolutely massive. People are super, super passionate about that sort of stuff as well. People who are interested with that sort of thing, even with just these images. That's the other great thing about this products listing is that you probably don't need to buy one of these things yourself. You probably don't need to create any extra content. You could use this image here. And because it's showing and aimed and has that angle towards those people who are interested in um, crystals and spiritualism and healing stones, that sort of thing, um, then it's already spot on. It's already made to measure basically. So Facebook interests, if I was to go after this one, it'd be Ikea, home decor, healing crystals, um, spiritualism, healing stones, um, all that sort of thing. Meditation would be another one, maybe even yoga as well. You could try that one um, just to kind of get a grips or get an idea of then of how strong this market is. This is worldwide for the past five years. Like there's such a strong and consistent demand for this. So again, it's not a pump and dump product. This is a product which will sell consistently all year round, probably with an extra spike in those Q4 months as well. So definitely a long-term and sustainable business here. Moving on to the next products though, for those people who do like to kind of hop between products and pump and dump them, um, I definitely think this is one of those. So it's a pretty cool product. Um, it has like a pretty cool technology. Um, well, the video demonstrates exactly what it is. It's basically an LED notice board. You can reuse, rub things out, write notes on, and what it's to your children, they use as a nightlight, or whether you put your shopping list on it because you like that sort of thing. Um, ultimately though, um, quite a visually pleasing product. And if we take a look at some numbers as well, um, it's absolutely smashing it um, in terms of sales on AliExpress. So the total sales is just under $700,000. We can see there's been a consistent kind of spike um, in order numbers, which means more and more people are buying this month on month on month, which shows a strong demand for the products, which is always a great sign. If it's going the other way, then you should probably stay away from it. So if I was gonna try and sell this product and build a store around it, um, I would probably start like an LED children's nightlight type store. This would be a product, you can get those astronaut lamps, you can get those nightlights, you can get those rocket lamps, those 3D printed rocket lamps, which are pretty cool. And then when it came to targeting, the ad creative, this one they've got is, uh, that's not great. I probably wouldn't use that. I would definitely, unless you could find some other content, but if it was me, I'd probably order a few of these things, um, send them out to some different influencers to create some content, whether it's on Fiverr, you could even do it yourself if you were confident enough. Um, if you've watched my videos, you know I'm a big UGC guy, so that would definitely be my route in terms of creative. When it comes to targeting, I'd definitely go for parents with young children, grandparents, of course, as such strong buyers on Facebook at least, um, life hacks, parent hacks, creative ideas. Um, all that sort of thing. Moving on to the fifth and final product then, before you leave the video thinking this is a crappy product, um, this is just one example. I wanna talk more or mainly, in fact, let's start with this then. So let's look at solar lights. United Kingdom, 2004 till present, it's dead in January and February time, but then look what happens in March. Then look what happens in April, then May. We've got essentially the next three or four months of a significant spike and demand and interest in products like this. So if we have a look at the numbers for the product I just showed you, um, ignore this kind of step off because of where we are in a year like i just showed you there's going to be a spike coming very soon so that will start to go up again but we have over 600,000 in total sales 33,000 orders um, this is no doubt a great product that people are enjoying um, basically it's a light that goes on the outside of your house it creates quite a nice effect you usually see actually on new builds that are quite expensive they have these lights that go up and down outside because it just adds kind of like a feel of of luxury and makes the house look expensive. So this is kind of like the next best thing for somebody who wants that same effect, but only wants to spend say 20 or 30 quid um, on a light. So the price of this product, 262, 201 with 15 day um, delivery. So you're talking about five pounds all in, I'd stick probably 20 quid on top of that to make it 25 per light. What's really good about this as well, um, nobody's gonna buy just one of these uh, for the house and just stick it on randomly in some location. They're probably gonna buy two of them so they can put it either side of a door or they might have two for the front, two for the back, two for the side. People are gonna be buying more than one of these things basically. So it's the perfect opportunity to have those multi-buy offers. And before you know it, somebody has spent say 100 quid, 100 quid with you and bought half a dozen of these things.
if you don't like that product I just showed you, this is another great product in my opinion because you can be super specific now with the types of people that you're targeting because you can obviously target dog owners. And if you ask me, things like this have a really nice effect. Um, and again, it fits that perfect target market. It tends to be, dare I say, an older generation that are interested in their gardens, which fits that perfect kind of profile on Facebook. I didn't actually know that they could stick on things as well. I think it's just all in all a really kind of fun loving product that people who love dogs and are into dogs and dogs are their life, um, they will just absolutely love this. Just building on top of this, don't just think poor solar lights as well. Um, there's another product, there's, it's an owl, it's a light up LED solar owl. And last year I sold an absolutely ton of them. So the solar light niche is one that's close to my heart. It's one that's undeniable becomes crazy, crazy popular in the up and coming months. So don't miss the boat on this. It's definitely one of the easier niches, I should say, um, to get started in if you're looking to get started in the next couple of weeks. And so with that being said, I'm gonna wrap the video up. And um, that's all five products. I hope you stuck with me. I hope you enjoyed the video. More importantly, I hope you take some of these products away and make them work for you and you find some success and ultimately achieve those goals, whatever they may be. If you need any extra help getting started, just leave a comment down below. I read every single comment in my video, so I will see it, I will read it, and I will, of course, reply to you. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.